How's it going everyone? It's Gal here, and today I'm going to be talking about some tips and tricks on how to make beautiful sims. So I like to start off by saying that there's no wrong way to make sims, but this is how I like to make them, and some of the common quote-unquote mistakes that I see that make sims look a little bit strange in my opinion, but if you like how they look, that's fine. But this is just my opinion. So I have little Alia here, who... I just got dressed real basically so that she would just be our base sim to work off of. So my first tip is about the eyes. So a thing I notice is a lot of sims on the gallery have just monstrous eyes and if that's the look you're going for then great. But I personally find that they just tend to look a little strange. So. Let me just find some eyes I want to go with here. We'll use these ones. So, you can mess with the eyes all you want if you want to mess with the corners. Oh, another thing is make sure that the lower lid isn't too low, otherwise it can look a little strange. So you can get the eyes how you like. And then, the key. Shrink them just a little bit and then after that move them a little closer and slightly up and I find that this makes the sims look a lot more realistic because no one's eyes are that big even these eyes are still a little large but a lot of sims tend to have alien eye syndrome where the eyes are just like really far apart and it looks a little wonky so just push them together. Like, even these ones, I actually think I put them a little too close together. I'm gonna leave them there, because they'll probably look better once I mess with the rest of the face. So my next tip is to watch face flatness. And what do I mean by that? So you see, if you turn her to the side, her face is kind of flat. I see a lot of sims with a concave face, so it'll kind of be like this where the face almost kind of curves inwards like this and it is very strange. I've even seen sims with a worse like it'll actually be like this and from the front you can't really notice it like it just looks fine but then when you look at the side you're like oh what's going on there? So just make sure I usually even pull it out and down a little bit because the thing that goes along with face flatness is just like short face. A lot of sims on the gallery. And I think it's to try to get like the cute look is they really smush the face like this, which is fine. But if you want a more realistic looking sim, I suggest pulling the face long. It just will end up looking better. My third tip is to wash this jaw. So this is something I see a lot in like the maxes since I come with the game is that the jaws would just be like real forward like this. And again from the front it doesn't look that weird but from the side it just doesn't look right. Just make sure the jaw is pulled back. Even I tend to pull it back a little farther than you might think you should. And then all these things together for my fourth tip, watch the profile. So many sims you'll see on the gallery and they look beautiful from front. You're like, oh wow, this sim's gorgeous. I'm gonna add her to the game. So you pull her into Cass and you're like, oh wow. But then you turn them. <laughs> it is just a whole world of wonkiness over here. So just watch the profile. Make sure the profile still looks natural and a lot of things I've already talked about kind of play a role into that, like make sure the face isn't too flat, making sure the jaw is a reasonable distance forward or back, and also watch your chins. It's way too easy to make the chins tiny. Again, I think it's because that's part of a, I don't want to say trend, but it's what's aesthetically pleasing at the moment, I guess. Just tiny chins. Just beef up those chins, please. <laughs> it looks better. And 
I just want to say, practice makes perfect. If you always look at other people's sims and like, wow, I could never make a sim this beautiful, or oh man, only if I had- oh, I like those cheekbones. They're a little big. Only if I had a new CC, then I could make sims this beautiful. But it's totally possible to make good-looking sims without CC. It just takes practice. And practice makes perfect, as cliche as it sounds. But you also have to keep in mind that it's okay to use references for any sort of art, because, yes, I'll say it, making sims is a form of art. You're basically sculpting a face. It's okay to use references, especially if you are going for a certain aesthetic. It's totally fine to just pull up a reference of a type of person that you're trying to make and then base it off of them. Of course, if you're doing like an actual person, you should probably mention that, but yeah. Just practice, practice, practice. Watch the profile. And you're good to go. Look at her. She's gorgeous. Even though... I don't like these eyebrows. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just gonna finish up Alia here. I'll be posting her on the gallery. And I'm pretty sure the only packs I used were cats and dogs, maybe seasons, and city living. Because I didn't want her to use too many packs. But look at it. Simple, simple, simple. So if I go back and make her eyes a little bigger and farther apart, you'll see she doesn't look bad per se, but she looks almost a little alien-y. See? That's better. And changing the size of the eyes and their distance go hand in hand, because obviously if you make them smaller, they take up less space, so you have to usually move them close together. If you just shrink them and leave them where they are, they would definitely end up too far apart. So then if I make her face super flat. It's actually a little noticeable from the front, but from the side. Definitely got a flat face. Or if you're pushing a draw too forward. Again, from the front looks fine. From the side. A little strange. So I guess my main takeaway from here is to watch the profile of your sims. Please. You can make them look good for the front and the side at the same time. Trust me, it can be done. <laughs> make the eyes not gymongous, unless that's the look you're going for. And just practice. And remember, everyone starts somewhere. Your first sims always look weird. Just look at other simmers have even admitted to that, that <laughs> they just don't like what their old sims look like. Like little Simmy, little Simsy, sorry. I think did a video maybe like a month or so ago. I don't remember how long it was ago. But she recreated one of her sims, one of her first sims. <laughs> and she just roasted it. And honestly, I have to agree. A lot of your first sims are a little embarrassing. <laughs> but we all start somewhere. So yeah, this is it for me for this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And... I'll see you next time. Bye!